Hi! In the previous video, we've learned about the first two gas laws which we call Boyle's Law and Charles's Law. And in Boyle's Law, it was investigated that there was an inverse relationship for pressure and volume, while in Charles's Law, it was the direct relationship of volume and temperature. Now we're up for the third gas law, which we call the Amontan's Law. Please do not confuse this with Gay-Lussac's Law because Gay-Lussac is usually associated with the discovery of volume and temperature relationship. Therefore, that's just more or less the same with Charles's Law. So Amontan's Law this time investigates the relationship of pressure and temperature. Now, looking at this diagram here, you would see that the hot plate is off at first and then second it's turned on into a medium temperature and then the third it was turned on to high and the pressure on top will give us a different measurement of its value so if the hot plate is off you'll notice that the pressure is low while as we slowly increase the temperature to a medium heat the pressure slowly increases as seen in this gauge and then at the hottest temperature of the hot plate, the temperature of the gas inside the flask really, really increased that much. So you would see that in a Monton's law, the relationship of pressure and temperature are just direct. So as you increase temperature, pressure also increases. Now, if you are to graph a direct relationship, you notice that it's going to be just a straight line graph showing the relationship of pressure and temperature. If you will recall a certain law that's just the same as, other, as having the same direct relationship, you would say that it was the same with Charles's law, which is the volume and temperature direct relationship. And so in an equation form, if we pattern a Monton's law, same with Charles's law, if there is a direct relationship between two variables, the resulting chemical equation will be just like this. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. So if you are to cross multiply that, you know that it's going to be P1 times T2 is equal to P2 times T1. So it says that the pressure of a gas at constant volume and of course constant amount is always directly proportional to the absolute temperature. So absolute temperature means that the T has to be always expressed in Kelvin before you substitute it in the equation. So let me just show to you a sample problem of a Monton's law so we can directly apply the, the equation. So it says here a copper tank is compressed to a pressure of 4.28 atmosphere at a temperature of 0 0.185 degree Fahrenheit. What will be the pressure if the temperature is raised to 95.6 degree Celsius? So you notice that um, you are given the pressure of 4.28 atmosphere and then the temperature at 0 0.185 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you change the temperature, what will be the new pressure so in other words you are given you are given p2 so it's here sorry for that it's you're given p2 p i mean you're given p1 which is 4.28 so your p1 let, let me just let me just um use my pointer so you are given here p1 this is your p1 and this is your t1 and this is your T2. But if you notice that your temperatures have to be converted to Kelvin. So the first one, the T1, has to be converted to, because it's a Fahrenheit, you have to convert it to degrees Celsius first using the formula degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. So you get negative 17.68 degrees Celsius. Then you add to 73.15 to that so that you can get the Kelvin unit, which is 255.47 Kelvin. So this is the unit that you will be using for, or the value that you'll be using for T1. While T2, the same thing, because it's in Celsius already, that means you just have to add 273.15. So T2's value is 368.8 
Kelvin. So using the equation P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And since you're getting P2, so P2 becomes P1 times T2 over T1. So you know that the units are already okay, so we can substitute them already in the equation. So P2 is equal to P1 times T2 over T1. So substituting all your values, you've got 4.28 atmosphere here and then 368.88.8 Kelvin divided by your um, T1, which is 255.47 Kelvin. Therefore, you'll get the final answer to be 6.18 atmosphere. I want you to solve this once again in your notebook. I want you to solve this on your own and see if you can get the correct answer for this particular problem. So again, take note that the Monton's law is just more or less the same with Charles's law. So therefore, it's easy to remember its formula, but it is between pressure and temperature. So that's it for Monton's law. Please keep on answering more exercises in your textbook and whatever the teacher will be discussing in the classroom. Thank you so much. Bye for now.